Hey guys, it's Regigamer here, and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare multiplayer video. Today I'm going to be covering how to get easy strafe medals, and I mean easy, easy, easy peasy even. It's so easy with this guide, it's untrue. So really, this is a big help in hand. Uh, so for that reason, if you guys find this helpful tool, then a like would be super, super awesome. You guys are awesome, so I'm sure. I'll just leave you with that, but thanks guys. We've now hit over 1,000 subscribers it feels so amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm not going to spend ages talking about in this video. I'm going to be doing another video. So don't worry, guys. I'm not ignoring you guys at all. I'm going to be talking about that another time. Not in this video. But um, I've also done a dogfight medal video recently. How to get them easily for camos and stuff. And uh, that will help you on your way with this a bit as well. So if you want to have a look at that as well. Or like open a new tab or something. Then feel free to because that's going to help you even better. Now. With this guide, really, they're, they're more for kind of assault rifles and those kinds of weapons. I'm not sure exactly what weapons need strafe medals to get certain camos. I believe it's something like 50 strafe medals equals a certain camo, which I can't remember. Unfortunately, the thing is, though, on last gen, we haven't got the update, which makes the camos easier and which makes it so that you, when you prestige, you don't lose your camos. Uh, next gen have that. We don't have it yet. So next gen, you have easier camos. If someone who's got next gen... Uh, could please leave me in a comment in the comments section, you know, uh, all the challenges like after they've been patched to make it easier, those kind of challenges. So I think it's really reduced from like say 500 long shots to only 80 or something. If you guys could leave me a whole list of that, that'd be absolutely awesome. I would appreciate that so much. Mainly it's just for assault rifles and that kind of thing. You might be trying to get them for something else, but mainly it's just for assault rifles. Um, so this guide is more for assault rifles. You might want to change it slightly for other weapons. Uh, if you've got any specific things, let me know. If you've got any guys you want me to do, just let me know. I'll do that. But today is more about assault rifles with these strafe medals. So strafe medals are simply when you are in the air and you kill an enemy that's on the ground. So you have to be in the air, enemy has to be on the ground. Uh, if they jump at the last second, it won't count, because that will count as a dogfight medal, because they are in the air and you're in the air. But if you want to learn more about dogfight medals, I'll have an annotation on screen to take you to that video. So then, let's learn more about strafe medals. So the easy way to get them, really, is uh, go into a match of free fall. That is definitely, in my opinion, the best game mode. I know it changes from guide to guide. That's simply how it is. I just find this that free for all is the best for strafe medals and I'll explain why a little bit later on so for your class you're going to want to go for your weapon and then if it's assault rifle I would go for foregrip, red dot sight and then either stock or quick draw, quick draw is probably going to be better in this case but I'll explain them more quickly so red dot sight just makes it clearer and more precise view uh, it's, you can also use target enhancer which means any enemy that walks past screen they're highlighted in red like the threat detection grenade and you've also got a bigger square to aim with instead of one little dot it's like a big square so that's pretty cool and it highlights the enemies easier but sometimes the peripheral around is obviously you know it's, it's a smaller view and sometimes I it gets a bit confusing and for this I would say that's probably not the best I would say red dot sight is probably the best for this guy so go with red dot in my opinion if this was me I would go for red dot sight full grip to reduce recoil and then finally quick draw to mean that you aim in on your weapon faster now you can use stock so you can move faster while aiming down sight but I don't think it works in this case because half the time you're going to be using X abilities it's not going to work but I'd definitely say go for quick draw so that you can aim in faster now once you've got your attachments you're going to want to select perks now now, for me, the perks that work best are definitely something, for perk 1 at least, uh, I would definitely go for overcharge because it means you have extended bigger battery life uh, for your exo abilities. Now, I'll explain that a bit later on because these are going to be extremely necessary for this guide. So definitely go for overcharge, I'll say. You can also go for low profile or lightweight. If you have a spare perk or point, rather, I would definitely go for lightweight. You know, choose a wild card and go for lightweight. But primarily, I would go for uh, overcharge, which means you get extended battery life. And then I would also go for perk 2 go for things like gung-ho or fast hands keep making that mistake and fast hands mean you can reload faster and uh, obviously gung-ho means you've got your weapon pointed uh, straight ahead so you're ready like more ready for that fight so I would definitely say maybe the, the best perks if you've got any more perks or points then go for other things as well but the bare minimums I would say you need are overcharged and then for perk 2 you would need gung-ho you might even want to go for fast hands and then you could also go for peripherals which means you've got a larger mini map and enemies that you kill won't show up as a, a like a death icon so that's another thing but it's not really what this class is about so uh, you'd go for that and then finally perk 3 you can go for hot, uh, toughness I'll definitely suggest that which means that you flinch less when you're shot at and then you can also go for blast pressure which means there's no ping on the radar I uh, won't use your exo abilities I or exo boost rather I'm sure a lot of you guys or everyone should know about that by now if you're not if you're not familiar with it and you want to know about it just look it up but um, and then you could also go for things like hardwired so you you're not you're like immune to EMP 
MPs and system hacks. They are very annoying and they do happen quite a lot, but I don't think they have enough for you to need it, and especially not in this guide. I definitely wouldn't say in this guide that you'd need it. So then, the final thing really, obviously, don't score streaks aren't really necessary. If you've got any points, then go for something like a UAV, but I don't think you will, guys. Don't really go for a secondary. It's not going to help you at all. You only want these camos or medals with your primary weapon, so what's the point of trying to get it on your secondary? It just doesn't work. Uh, so to do that, and then for your exo ability, this is the, one of the most important parts. Go for exo hover, because a lot, what a lot of people don't realize is that for getting the strafe medal, where you have to be off the ground, but your enemies on the ground, you don't have to jump. You can be hovering or doing whatever. So what I would suggest is that you sprint into the center or wherever the enemies are, try and pick them off one at a time, maybe go around the edge of the map, I don't know, just try and isolate them one at a time, but don't be overwhelmed by enemies, just go towards a lot of them, and uh, then once they're there, or once you see them, or once you know they're close around the corner or something, boost jump into the air where, where you know they'll be, and then equip exo hover. Now, if you're not moving, it should last for about 13 seconds or so, but if you're moving forward while you're hovering, uh, so if I jump, hover, and then move forward while I'm hovering in the air, the battery life, it decreases so fast, it only lasts like 5 seconds. But if I'm staying where I am and hovering in the air, I last for about 13 seconds on the battery, so that's a lot easier and it's more than you need. So, just just uh, stay still when you're hovering, uh, make sure something kind of like your back is covered against a wall or something, that would be easier, so it means that you won't be shot from behind, because when you're hovering, obviously you're very, very vulnerable to uh, other gunfire and stuff but um, once you're hovering all you need to do is shoot the enemy and you can get these kills so easy it's untrue uh, maps it's not really a specific map as long as it's an open map up high I guess would be better but it doesn't really matter to be honest because with other maps it matters for things for this really any map is good and the only map which might be too much would be maybe terrace I don't know but apart from that every other map is good game modes definitely go for free for all because there's more enemies coming at you and I said use this hover ability and uh, overcharge will mean that you have a longer battery life so those are the main points guys and uh, that's been my kind of strategy slash guide I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you found it useful if you have and then a like will be really awesome but thanks guys that's been all from me if you want to go and check out any of my recent videos such as you know things like dogfight medals and that kind of thing as well as headshots long shots all that shebang then uh, you can go and check that out on my channel i'll have annotations certain annotations on the screen at some point as well and uh, tomorrow i'm actually going to be doing some far cry 4 gameplay if you guys want to see that and just let me guys know in the comments uh or if you want to see any specific guys in far cry 4 let me guys know uh, what you'd like to see first of all um and then yeah that's really all i've got to say i mean thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers and thank you guys for all your support uh but really all that's left to say is thanks very much for watching this video and i hope to see you guys on my next one